In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Greetings, Living the Word friends. Today, we delve into the extraordinary life of St. Berthold of Limoges. A revered figure within the Carmelite tradition, his journey from scholar to spiritual leader reshaped the landscape of medieval spirituality. Join us as we honor his unwavering commitment to God and his tireless efforts to establish the Carmelite order. Let St. Berthold inspire us to embrace simplicity, prayer, and compassion as we navigate our own spiritual paths, guided by his timeless wisdom and devotion. In the heart of medieval France, nestled in the bustling city of Limoges, a child was born to a humble family destined to leave an indelible mark on the spiritual landscape of his time. This child, named Berthold, would grow to become Saint Berthold, a figure revered for his piety, leadership, and dedication to the Carmelite order. Berthold's early years were marked by a thirst for knowledge and a devout upbringing. His parents, though of modest means, recognized his potential and ensured he received a thorough education. As he matured, Berthold's intellect shone brightly, earning him a place at the prestigious University of Paris, where he delved into theology and philosophy with fervor. Upon completing his studies, Berthold felt a calling to serve the church, and he was ordained as a priest. His journey, however, would take him far beyond the familiar streets of Paris. Inspired by tales of the Crusades and driven by a desire to spread the teachings of Christ, Berthold embarked on a pilgrimage to the Holy Land, accompanied by his brother Emeric, who held the esteemed position of Latin Patriarch of Antioch. Their travels led them to the rugged terrain of Turkey, where the Crusades raged on. Amidst the chaos of war, Berthold's gaze fell upon Mount Carmel, a place of solitude and contemplation. There, amidst the rocky cliffs and whispering winds, he encountered a group of hermits who had dedicated their lives to prayer and asceticism. Drawn to their simple yet profound way of life, Berthold made the fateful decision to join them, forsaking the comforts of the world for the pursuit of spiritual enlightenment. With his guidance, the hermits established a rule, shaping their communal existence and deepening their commitment to God. Berthold's leadership qualities did not go unnoticed. His brother, Emeric, recognizing his wisdom and dedication, appointed him as the first superior general of the burgeoning Carmelite order. Under Berthold's guidance, the order flourished, attracting new members and spreading its influence throughout the region. But Berthold's mission extended beyond the confines of the monastery walls. Inspired by a divine vision of Christ, he felt compelled to reach out to the Christian soldiers who fought amidst the turmoil of the Crusades. With unwavering faith and boundless compassion, he sought to instill in them the virtues of mercy and righteousness, urging them to heed the teachings of the gospel even in the midst of battle. For 45 years, Berthold led the Carmelite order with grace and fortitude, guiding its members along the path of spiritual enlightenment. His tireless efforts bore fruit in the form of countless miracles attributed to his intercession, earning him a reputation as a saintly figure revered by believers far and wide. Today, St. Berthold is honored as a patron saint of the Carmelite Order, revered for his unwavering devotion to God and his tireless efforts to spread the message of love and compassion. Though centuries have passed since his earthly sojourn, his legacy endures, inspiring countless souls to seek solace and guidance in the embrace of divine grace. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, we come before you with gratitude for the life and witness of Saint Berthold, who devoted himself wholeheartedly to your service in the establishment of the Carmelite Order. Grant us the grace to emulate his unwavering faith and tireless dedication to prayer and compassion. May his example inspire us to deepen our own relationship with you and to serve others with love and humility. Through Christ our Lord, amen.